Hey there, it's Andrew Abyss. How you doing? Um, thank you all for uh, uh, watching, remixing uh, Fukushima Beach 2, The Lights of Fukushima. Um, it was fun making it. Um, thank you all for your efforts in uh, spreading the word about Fukushima Truth, because um, we have time, but we don't have much time. Um, point of critical mass for um, nuclear radiation contamination for the whole planet. Uh, you know, we're not really sure, but it, it's not... Um, who knows? So, uh, again, as I said in the documentary, it's a mistake to be despondent. Uh, if anything, it should uh, spur us to uh, it's greater, greater efforts to spread the word and um, really put um, uh, government's feet to the fire and, um, you know, if need be, over, over, overtake those governments. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's important. Uh, to do now, um, oh yeah. So, so some some people have said. Uh, oh, so, well, I've got a lot of positive um, uh, feedback from the um, from the movie, the documentary. It's it's hard to replicate the impact, and uh, uh, you know, in terms of view count of uh, of the first one uh, of the first movie on Fukushima Beach. But um, you know, there it is. Um, now, one person said uh, that um, in a comment that uh, it's the, the the movie will only um, sing to the uh, the converted because uh, uh, the way it's presented it would only uh, appeal to people who already know about the crisis and uh, I I kind of agree and um, I also disagree because uh, by making the documentary I wanted to make something that was um, you know sort of uh, yeah, as I said previously, very dispassionate, uh, um, sort of a, a very uh, laid-back documentary, the kind of documentary you, you might see about, um, I don't know, penguins or, or um, you know, whatever, tigers in Africa. Uh, but this time it happens to be radiation from Fukushima. Um, but uh, I didn't want it to have it, like, um, you know, titled, like, uh, We Are All Doomed or, uh, you know... Uh, Fukushima F word type uh, type video or documentary. Um, I mean those kind of in your face, uh, angry tirade, um, expletive laden laden uh, videos and documentaries have their place. In uh, but uh, what um, uh, I, hope, I hope my documentary does is uh, create a um, an, uh, like an ecosystem of um, Fukushima truth, where you have your angry. Uh, Short videos, your 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 parodies, your your satire, and um, and uh, Christina Consolo has her her very good website, this Fukushima Diary, and uh, for me, I'm just bringing up the end of um, of uh, just a documentary about uh, you know one one that um, people can point to and say, oh, this looks you know reasonably well um, well uh, streamlined and um, uh, narrated so it just it it just covers all of all of uh, Fukushima tr uh, Fukushima truth movements bases you know you have you know websites videos um, and documentaries so it, it's it's um, it's something that you can say oh if you didn't like this video by you know whoever uh, try this documentary and you can you can you know, just get people to go on YouTube and throw it on their link so uh, it's not meant to be a um, convince people outright uh, it's it's just um, another voice another mode of delivery you could say um, so uh, that's my intention with making the, the, the documentaries the the title doesn't say uh, you know get up and run we're all doomed uh, you know we are all you know uh, F word Fukushima you know um, not like that so um, those have their place but uh, that that's I wanted to make something that was um, you know, providing it like a uh, a more relaxed tone, but um, with you know, no uh, not mincing words in the in the same in the same sentence, and uh, that doesn't pull any punches. Uh, you know, it's uh, I think it's pretty. The documentary is pretty um, truthful about what's uh, what's happening, as is you know every a lot of uh, great uh, Fukushima truthers out there. Reina, Red Button Studio. Milky the Clown and 
all of you guys. So thank you all for sh sharing it. Now, I uh, just wanted to tell you about a, a little anecdote. Um, when my um, when the, the earthquake happened and the uh, radiation re release started, uh, I we have some friends in Japan and there was a a single mother with a, a daughter who um, was living in Tokyo and uh, I said, you know, with that, you, you feel ridiculous saying it, but it's so true. Yeah. Saying, oh, you know, you, have you ever considered, you know, evacuating Tokyo? Because, you know, uh, you know, it's as heartbreaking as to say, I mean, I love Tokyo to death and I wish every day I could be back in Japan. Uh, but, um, you know, the facts are facts. And I said, uh, yeah, have you ever considered moving? And they said, oh, you know, um, you know, it's it's bad, but I feel so alive, that kind of whatever, you know, because, you know. And a lot of Japanese friends were um, saying, oh, we can gambaru, you know, we can keep fighting and Japan will come back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, but Japan very well may well do so, but not with, with what's happening right now. And then um, she, after seeing, you know, you know, seeing some links that, you know, I and other people sent her, she moved to Kyoto. And I said, oh, that's great, you know, that's, it's, that's pretty good, you know, Kyoto is far away, but um, you know that they're, they're spreading food or, you know, they're burning, yeah, radioactive um, waste in, in Kyoto, Kansai, everywhere. They're spreading food all over Japan, it's, it's in the, the school children's lunches. Um, you know, have you ever considered moving <laughs> to another country, even Australia, where we are? And um, they said, oh, well, you know, it's, we'll see what happens and, you know, we'll be positive. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a noble thought um, to be positive. Now, just before my documentary was released in uh, late, you know, late April this, uh, this year, or just now, um, that woman, um, that single mother, she posted a, uh, a photo on her Facebook. I asked if I could use it and she didn't reply, so I assume that means no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a very Japanese way of saying no. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is in Kyoto. Kyoto is about 450 kilometers um, south west of Tokyo. So you'd assume it'd be quite safe, but you know. The photo she posted on her Facebook was, um, it was, uh, it wasn't a, a, a terrible mutation like, um, say, five leaf clovers or, uh, you know, terribly distorted what you will, flowers or anything, or uh, vegetables. But this, this one was a, she, it was from her balcony uh, in Kyoto. Uh, it was a flower on her balcony, and uh, the flower itself looked pretty good. Um, but uh, there were petals, you know, the petals go on on this on the outside of a flower, of course, but there were petals actually growing through the middle section of the flower, little filaments of petals uh, growing right through the middle. I can't remember uh, year 11 biology, um, what that <laughs> area of the flower is called, but um, uh, yeah, it's where the, the bee would extract pollen. Um, but yeah, the, the petals are, are, are growing through that section, you know, you know, um, and that, that's highly, highly um, irregular. You would not see that in, in I, I've never seen that ever in, uh, in all my life. Um, that has to be Fukushima radiation mutation. And so, um, you know, uh, I don't know what to tell you, what to tell her, it's, it's you know, it's, um, when you have flowers on your balcony mutating like that, um, yeah, it really does bring it, the whole thing home about uh, how serious this thing is and um, and in how insidious it is, I, I mean, people, you know, for many people seeing is believing, like, show me the, show me the proof, but, um, you know, as we say, as I said, uh, you know, um, radiation, you, you can't see it, you can't smell it. Um, some people can have a met metallic taste in their mouth, but uh, um, you don't have to have a metallic taste in your mouth to uh, to be to have been exposed by any means. Uh, you, you can just go along normally. Uh, and ten years later, five, ten years later, even fifteen years, uh, you get the cancer, leukemia, and um, 
and uh, you know what order, what about your um your progeny i mean your children um you know it takes you know up to 20 generations for mutations to express themselves and um you know so the dna of uh, of of uh, of um the human um race uh, uh, of the biosphere is being rewritten uh it's being hijacked and rewritten by these uh by the ionizing radiation, uh, seaborne, airborne, uh, uh, wetting in the soil, whatever. So uh, thank you all again for spreading the documentary. Um, sorry I haven't posted uh, anything for a long time. I, I'm I'm kind of like a, um, you know, I'd really admire the people like, uh, I'm going to miss out a lot of people, uh, Missing Sky, Red Button Studio, Nibiru Magic, uh, Mo Miss Mookie the Clown, One, all you guys. Uh, uh, you're out there um, reposting stuff, uh, spreading links, uh, interpreting information, um, you know, going through the scientific data and, um, you know, making sure everyone's informed. Like, I mean, I wanted to do that as well. But um, for me, uh, I want to sort of hold back and um, sort of take everything in. I've, I've been watching, so. And um, make sort of a, a, a comprehensive overall uh, summary movie of what's been happening so uh, that's where I am so you guys are like the the jet fighters uh, you know just getting in there you know uh, destroying everything you know in destroying the disinformation spreading the real information so I'm like more like I say uh, a long-range strategic bomber you know it's coming in with these uh, these um these uh sort of hour-long documentaries so I will keep making them uh, so Thank you all, and uh, take care, keep spreading the truth, and uh, stay safe. All right, Andrew Bissell, take care.